Nevertheless, class is back in session in more than a dozen Kentucky counties. This year, students and teachers must be masked up inside, and that includes Fayette County, where students went back to in-person learning today. LEX 18's Evelyn Schultz spent the morning at Brenda Cohen Elementary, where she spoke with staff about the required COVID protocols. That's tonight's Big Story at 5. Backpacks and masks are on for the first day of school at Brenda Cowan Elementary. Teachers waited in the drop off line Wednesday morning to welcome students inside. Let me take you. Here's your teacher. Lexington firefighters also showed up to honor the school's namesake. Lieutenant Brenda Cowan was killed in the line of duty in 2004. Brenda Cowan's name is literally etched in stone on, on the outside of the building, but it's our job and it's super important. It's an important job for us to remind them who she was and the sacrifice that she made. This was only the firefighter's second opportunity to connect with students since the school opened in 2019. Principal Josh Williams knows firsthand. It's his third year as principal and hopefully his first full year inside the building. It's just wonderful. There's a lot of energy in the building. We've been waiting on this and, and we're hopeful and thankful that we can have it go for the entire year. Masks are currently required inside Fayette County Schools. District officials made the announcement last week. At Brenda Cowan, Principal Williams says safety is their number one priority. We do understand their concerns and we are doing everything within our power to ensure that this learning experience is engaging for all but safe for all. And we're, and we're going to continue that. He said teachers are also eager to take advantage of new education opportunities. So we have a piano lab. We were not able to use it last year um, because of COVID. So our students are going to be able to have piano. We have our dance studio. It's fully functioning. We weren't able to use it last year. This year, partitions are not required inside classrooms, but students will stay in groups to reduce potential exposure. The district says it's another effort to keep students learning in person. In Lexington, Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News.